Uh, we have already covered uh, symmetric relations and uh, coming up is another relation called anti-symmetric relation. Well, what does it uh, exactly deal with? Now, uh, consider a given set A, then uh, a particular relation R on set A is anti-symmetric if uh, the order pay uh, AB, that's a uh, first component and the second component uh, being uh, um, elements of the ordered pair that's uh, and that thing being and the ordered pair, ordered pair being element of the relation and uh, the reversing the the ordering of the pair or reversing that means the, the second order pair the uh, second component of the first ordered pair is coming the reverse order so uh, reversing the ordered pair BA uh, element of the same relation. This is, it simply means that uh, in this particular case, reversing the ordering of the components uh, of the ordered pair <coughs> doesn't affect uh, the actual order. So that, that's the key point. It simply implies that uh, A is equal to B for all A and B uh, elements of the set A. So, so what's the key point? In the, uh, now the key point in an anti-symmetric relation is that uh, reversing the components of the ordered pair, uh, um, that's the first component and second component, doesn't affect the ordering of the pair as such. Now we know that uh, uh, ordered pairs, um, simply if we are dealing with an ordered pair 2, 3, then that uh, ordered pair is simply not equal to 3, 2. But in this particular case, it's equal, which simply means that uh, we must be uh, basically dealing with uh, same uh, components, uh, which simply means that uh, of all the uh, relations which we have dealt with, uh, identity relation is uh, quite a straightforward case of anti-symmetry. Yeah. Let us look at a simple case to prove the point. Uh, uh, check a given set A consisting of elements 1, 2, 3 and uh, of course the identity relation would be uh, only uh, the, uh, uh, the component uh, pairing up with itself that is in this particular case there will be three ordered pairs that is 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 and uh, uh, the first component uh, to to identify the first component has been given the yellow color. So the first component is the yellow color, and mm, the component B is is white color. So that that's the meaning of the coloring. And as we can see, uh, if three three is and the ordered pair three three is an element of uh, relation, and uh, reversing the ordered pair three three is also an element of relation. We can see that reversing doesn't. Uh, uh, do anything to uh, uh, make the ordered pair uh, wrong and in the sense that because uh, we are dealing with the same components reversing doesn't affect the ordering of the ordered pair that simply means that now 3 is equal to 3 or A is equal to B for all uh, A, B is an element of A. Now let us take another case to uh, further prove the point. Uh, suppose we are taking the set of uh, uh, integers that is it and uh, is, is it anti-symmetric? Now we know that uh, uh, integers consist of both positive and negative integers. That's, uh, for minus one you have one. Net. So uh, so is it equal? Uh, once again uh, the first component uh, has been given the yellow coloration and you, you can see that uh, it's not the case case because uh, naturally uh, the first component is not equal to the second component because uh, the negative integer is of course not equal to the positive integer in this particular case minus 3 is not equal to 3 so the set of integers that is it is uh, is not uh, anti-symmetric uh, thank you